Hi, it's Stella from Mipu University, and this is Stella Short and Sweet for Alice in Wetland from Draw Lab Entertainment. Come to the Queen of Hearts tea party. Just don't say the wrong word, otherwise you'll be sent home. The game plays 3 to 8 players with mechanics such as word game and variable player powers. The game is of light complexity. In Alice in Wordland, players take turns saying word relevant to the current topic. But there are some twists. First, player can't say word or words containing letters selected randomly that round. Second, they must not take too long to say it. It is determined by this little cute teapot. When the teapot finishes the song, that indicates the player runs out of time. This is either 10 or 15 seconds. Player that couldn't come out with the right word within the time limit is out of the game that round. The longer they stay, the more points they gain. And player with the most points wins. Now let's look at some of the topics like pointy things, something in your handbag and tools, for example. So they're not that hard, which is good. Players also have characters with asymmetric powers, such as one time in that realm they can choose to ignore a letter so they can use it in their words. And the powers are passed along on the next round to next players. Game ends when every player has used all the powers once. The music in the teapot is really stressing us out little when we play. Well, not in a bad way, because we're trying to think of the word while listening to it before it stops. Now I have the song in my head, so catchy. Overall, it's a great party game. It's quick, fun, plays up to eight people and has a lot of topic cards you can choose from. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Miku University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. So hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time.